All right, welcome back to Heroes Next Door. This video is gonna be a little bit different. I get asked often, what do you take on vacation during the summertime? And it's a tricky question because everybody's go bag is a little bit different. But there's 10 things that you really should bring with you to make sure your vacation goes without a hitch. So first and foremost, you want multi-size band-aids. Don't get the cheap ones, get the real band-aid brand, the ones that are gonna stick in the water, the sweat, the heat, all that kind of stuff. Uh, get multiple size because you're gonna have big cuts, you're gonna have little cuts and so forth. Uh, with that, you want some Neosporin ointment or some antibacterial ointment uh, so you don't get infected, so you don't have to go to the hospital halfway through your vacation. Uh, as you're there, what you're looking for then is, you know, having a good time. You're out in the woods, you're doing things, and most likely you're going to get stung by mosquitoes uh, or bees or something like that. So having a bee sting kit is going to be important. Uh, I like to bring actually moleskin. And what moleskin is, is a, a sticky, almost like bandage that I can put on my feet when I get blisters because I do a lot of hiking. Uh, my wife and I, we like to go rock climbing and hiking and that kind of stuff. And worst thing I have is those stupid blisters. So getting some moleskin, building that up around there is gonna make your trip so much more better. After that, I would probably consider making sure you have a pocket knife, probably like the Swiss Army knives. You want something that's sharp, you don't need to have multiple blades, you don't need to have you know, all the chainsaw attachments and all that kind of stuff on it. But what you really need is one that has maybe a pick or a toothpick kind of thing and a tweezers. Uh, because I'm going to go back to that bee sting thing, because when if you do get stung by a bee, many people just you know brush it off and put the bee sting on it. But they don't realize that that stinger is still stuck in there. So using a credit card or a like, set of tweezers and actually scraping that uh, bee sting off is going to get that stinger out. It's going to make it heal just that much better. It's going to make it feel better that much quicker. If you've never heard of Coban before, now there are some other brands out there, but it's a self-adhering ace wrap kind of thing. Uh, is fantastic because again, we're out there, we're working, you know, we're having fun. We're either jet skiing or we're hiking or, you know, we're going in and out of water. Coban seals to itself. So you put the bandaid on, you wrap the Coban around it, you are good to go. You can actually unwrap it and use that stuff again. Uh, fantastic stuff, I recommend it highly. So after you get the, go the Coban done and after that, you're gonna be achy, you're gonna be sore from that long hike. Uh, so I recommend bringing some Advil or ibuprofen kind of medication and Tylenol. You know, the two of those together are going to make a big difference, especially if you do start getting sick, you're running in a fever, and you got to get out. Those are what you're going to treat you the most. Also, you've been hiking all day long. You get a little bit of swamp butt going on. Some gold bond is going to make a big difference. We actually use a product called monkey butt or anti-monkey butt. Fantastic stuff. I love it. It works well, you know, keeps you from chafing, uh, keeps you moving. And after that, what we want to look for is uh, what a product that we call New Skin. And New Skin is uh, almost like an invisible or a wipe on band aid. So, those ones that the band aids are falling off, that kind of stuff, you're back at camp, the day is done, and you need to treat that wound, you put the New Skin over it, it kind of glues it together and seals that up, and then you don't necessarily have to use those band aids that are going to come off. Usually new skin lasts about two or three days before that starts to wear off. Uh, fantastic product. The next thing after that, I'm trying to remember what's in my bag. I would probably take Afterburn. And what is Afterburn? Afterburn is like an aloe. An aloe that's going to help me with my sunburn. I have a bold head, as you all can see. I'm kind of pale right now because I'm just getting out there. And I burn easily. And the worst thing you can do is get a bad sunburn and don't have any way to treat it. Some people even like using essential oils for that. Uh, my wife's a big essential oils person for the burns. Uh, it works, but I really like a product called Afterburn. It's a lotion, goes on smooth. That way the next day I can get up and keep on moving. And then the last thing, any vacation I go on, we're eating all kinds of different foods. My diet <laughs> goes out the window, unfortunately, and uh, I get upset stomachs. And the last thing you want is the squirts or vomiting. So you bring some Tums or some antacids. That's really gonna make these trips that you go on, whether it's just by yourself or you're taking family and friends, uh, it's gonna make these trips go so much better. You won't have to make that trip to the clinic or the ER. So if you're thinking about having any of these products, check out the descriptions below. 
and uh, make yourself a go bag.